Happy Black Friday! Let's go! Today's video, we're gonna showcase to you guys the coolest Rise Heel deck ever, Rise Heel Sharks. Let's go! Versus the second coolest Rise Heel deck ever, Satala Knight Sharks. Let's go! I'm excited. This is the two coolest decks, with mine being more superior. And we're gonna figure out in this video. For Black Friday, the biggest release ever made, the Rise Healers. The greatest Rise Eel Flame I ever released will be Rise Eel vs. Malice. Make sure to go down below. It'll be available for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It'll be gone forever. And everyone who got refunds on the last match of deck boxes, it's coming for the refunds. I'm sorry, guys. But this one will be delivered to you within seven days. Rise of the Lovers Miles Playmats gets yours right now. I'm going to be bringing a lot with me to YCS Anaheim. So if you guys want to pick it up at YCS Anaheim to make sure you have it for the tournament, you let me know. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. How to play Shark Rise Heal, which by the way, by the way, by the way, I think I'm taking to Anaheim. Let's go! All right, here you go, players. I'm going to show you guys what this deck does. My point is cooked. Look at my hand and look at his. Look at this. I'm playing 43 cards. I will show the deck profile later. I cut it down to 40 because I'm trying to take this and win YC's Anaheim with it. He is playing a very cool deck as well. Any two Teller Knights? Listen, guys, his end board's going to be nuts, but we're going to crack it. We're playing a full fledged Shark, but a huge Rise Heal package. The full Rise Heal package. I did a dry classic Rise Heal because that's the problem of Rise Heal. Rise Heal does not, like, bro, with those seven Tachyon, the deck is horrible consistency wise. You need another engine if you want to play for 12 rounds in a tournament. I mean, 17 rounds in a tournament because you're trying to win the actual YCS and not just play the top, right? So, we're trying this out and it's been going amazing. I like, collab people on DB Garden channel with it. And I'm actually hosting a Rise of the Masterclass tonight from 5 p.m. to midnight EST. So, sign up while you can. It's going to be packed and I'm going to be sending the recording to everyone. Drop that off to $133. Get it right now while you can. If you're watching this on Friday, November 29th. I'm going to let my opponent do his play. Hey, he's cooking. Wait a second. Did he just chat? My opponent's brain might be nearly as big as mine. Just kidding. Probably half the size. Look at this genius play. So, for what the reason why you play a Teller Knights in this Rise Hill package is you're playing a Rise Hill deck full mass of everything. However... You're using these as extender level fours to play around cards your opponent has. And here's what it does. Look at this. And it does so much more. He normal summon the X Rise Heal. The only locks that Rise Heals have, look how plus he's going to go with Delta Rose, is if you special the Rise Heal, you can no longer special level uh, anything other than fours rest of the duel. He normaled the X Rise Heal. Hence, he's not locked. And the third now gives him full combo. Look at that. He's cooking, bro. What, that's how he's allowed to make the M7 because he normal the X Rise instead of special. We're going to teach this in the master class. And last reminder, guys, get your literally Black Friday playmats right now. I only have 100 available because the last time I did these orders, there was so much out of, like that I couldn't handle it. And it ruined my last release. And the company I worked with was stupid. But get yours right now. I believe the 100 playmats will actually sell out by today. But it's available for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So get it right now on the website down below let's go and also let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next tomorrow i'm posting malice sky striker which if you guys saw on db garden channel i cooked cooked someone i think i actually destroyed his entire yuga career bro look how much he's busting by the way so he's about to plus like crazy with deltaros because he's going to be summoning it back many he, he summoned the altair with deck of deltaros he summoned the the una Kabalala, whatever brought with it all because he's gonna the reason why this deck is so good post crbr is you're able to take it to really abuse delteros five times in one turn and they're all fours which duo drive requires any two generic fours that's the same reason the shark deck works so damn crazy well i'm telling you guys right now eventually these cards are going to be put on big time and you're going to be able to use xyz armor force puts up a huge layered interruption like it's you're going to see what i mean like, bro, like look at the amount of cards he has in his hand and this is not like a, oh, trip. you're just playing this deck because you're playing you're just watching it because it's a cool YouTube. No, bro, yeah, it is cool YouTube, and you're a cool person, but, bro, this deck cooks. If he went second, he had impermanent droplet, and, he, and all this. Negate, I'll negate your whole field, and then I'll put up a thousand negates. 
<laughs> so I fucking get the meat. The only lock at the end is that detonator can only be used with Ryzeal, which is fine. XYZ Armor Fortress is going to be summoned. Look, well, look what he's going to do, bro. He could put a rank 7 on my turn that's going to steal one of my cards. Look at my hand. It's broken, but I, I need some Ryzeals, baby. Daddy Trip needs Sharks and Ryzeals to crack any board. So here's, I want you guys to see how broken this is. I start with one for one. The reason why the synergy of Ryzeal is so crazy with the waters is rather than sending Aggregator for useless reasons, uh, like it'll get negated, whatever, whatever, I'm going to send Toad once. And the second I send Toad to add back these extender water cards from my graveyard, I will then be able to use Detonator attached Toad. Resolve Toad again. I will be the one abusing Toad rather than him abusing Deltaros. Now I chain, I go one for one, chain uh, droplet, see you later. I do not care about SP whatsoever. I just want to stop the detonator. Botanical Princess, look, your surfacing big draws is a terror top rank four in the deck, except it actually summons three monsters to the board. You're able to summon surfacing big draws out of the level four poplar. So special, you could special summon surfacing big draws anytime you activate a spell this turn. You're playing 25 spell cards. This is a, a 20 spell cards. This is a board breaker deck. So you go big draws, add Abyss Shark, special Abyss Shark, Abyss Shark, and now go Bahamut, Bahamut special Virtue Stream, uh, X Virtue Stream to search uh, Icarus attack for free, trigger Virtue Stream effect from Bahamut, add another level 4, you just, you just re-gut your card, you got an Icarus attack, then you have monsters on the board for free, you have a monster for node, you have a level 4, bro, it's actually nuts how plus this goes, you guys will see as it goes along. For those that prefer hand traps, I understand it requires a massive brain bigger than the average, which not many you can push have, but except for you guys, of course, we all have massive brains. The way to do that, you can actually play the deck with hand traps. You can play 15 hand traps in the deck, but then you're gonna need to be playing cards like Small World, which actually increasing the consistency of the deck dramatically, and maybe upstarts as well, uh, just to ensure that you have so many spells for surface and big draft to always resolve. And you can always search a spell anytime you want. Look at what Buzz, Buzz saw, I want him to SP this. So if you guys notice right now what I just did there, Buzzsaw does all everything I just said. If you there's so many starters in the deck. You have four Terror Tops, so three big draw, one one for one, and you have the Shark, the Princess, bro. Like it's insane. I want them to interrupt it because I'm just trying to get my place to resolve, and I'm just assuming Thrust, like Thrust is gonna get Bonfire or Desires will draw Bonfire. So we're cooking. At this point, he wants to bring up Rise of Plugin. Sick play here, right? Look at this. Because his Genesis will be alive, and when this hits the grave, he's going to get great value as well. So I go special Big Jaws to add a level 4. And because a Talon Knight got summoned by Plugin, you're able to summon all terrain from the grave to get a free add. Now, at this point, I couldn't even resolve the Big Jaws. I was out currently. Uh, it's a little small of a package, I believe. So what we're going to do well, he got hit anyway. So the Desires, I'm going to go Thrust. I have Bonfire and Xryzeal. I have Talents now. Uh, if you, I can look at his hand. I can take his field. There's so many nice plays here. I decided to take the Deltaros just because he's able to pop some cards later. And I figure the Deltaros will be able to help. And if you look here, I have not locked yet. So I can actually attack and then Zeus. He does a very cool play here. The trap is able to allow him to XYZ summon on my turn like that. So he, I just cleared, by the way, if you notice, I summoned zero Ryzo cards. I did all my defensive cards and Sharks, don't, he has nothing left. All of his interrupts are gone. I use Sharks to clear one, two, three, four, four too, many, too many to count. I lost count how many I negated. Go SP is the last one. And I, he has Cross as well. He has Cross, SP and Cross. Don't care. One X Rise already. Normal Ice Rise though. He stopped it. My only summon so far is one for one and special big draws. Now look at this. Now I'm going to cook him hard. X Rise, he'll send Toad. Look at this. Toad at XYZ Remora. Check my graveyard, boys. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This is not over yet. Then we're going to go special throw add X Ryzeal. Like, this is over immediately. And go dual drive add. This is game. You can see that, like, look. This is all because I'm playing the shark cards. Special node. Special detonator. Attach toads. So I get more value. Look. S remove two from detonator. Special XYZ Remora. The special two waters. I could have used XYZ Remora to send the Toad if I had more waters in my grave, but I'm resummoning these two. Otherwise, Toad would have resolved again on this turn. Then I summon two waters. Then I go Stealth Crack. I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna pop one of his cards. Plug in. Attach another. 
And now this is where I make a massive misplay. For the, the stupidest reason on God's green earth that I don't even know. I can't read like your average player. I should stealth crack. I negated this. I should have stealth crack and popped this. I don't read cards. So I didn't know this card was at 6,000 attack. Who the fuck plays this shit? I have no clue. Uh, so I popped the wrong card. So that card should have get popped instead. I go do Garus here to, to just uh, draw us because I wanted to get full armor because full armor was an OTK. So I had full OTK through like five interruptions probably, six interruptions. Yet, I couldn't read this card so I couldn't kill him. But that was full game. Now, it's looking a little bit rough. But when you're playing Shark, there's always a way. He has no play. He can't win. He can't win. I have too much advantage. He's going to go for the Zeus. <laughs> I know, bro. It's okay. But why is it okay? What does Toad do? Add Buzzsaw? It's not over. Summon Buzzsaw. I'm blocking Zugarda, sadly. Still... Okay, I lost. But the point is, I should have won! I should have won! How the point? The point is, I should have won that game if I wasn't the Bose. But I am a Bozo, so it doesn't matter. But now I'm going to win this game. He's going to start his Fualos. It's very good for him. But here's a, a cool thing with Fualos. Now, Buzzsaw does negate the card that it brings out. But I'm going to go Bahamut. And I'll let him draw a little bit because I want to get Toad and then D-Barrier. He does it in front because he wants me to draw. He wants to draw. He doesn't know I have D-Barrier. So this right here is an FDK. The reason why you want to play Bahamut is Virtue Stream. But all, like you can search this for free. But you also can negate the D-Barrier. The D-Barrier is resolving no matter what. And you're getting value from it. At this point, I'm like, yo, I can play a lot. I went Toad to negate the Perulia. So I can get back big draws and play a lot. And then he drops another Perulia. I'm like, bro, I should have just left the Toad to make sure my D-Barrier resolves. I also wanted to show off what this deck does uh, to my opponent. Because he played a cool deck. I'm like, this is my turn now. But when you have a D-Barrier, all I should have done there is just D-Barrier protect my Toad is always game and win the next turn. Because he might have cross out. So he just like that's able to clear it fine, but I had Virtue Stream. I popped his cards, I went on the next turn. Now this game three is epic. So you guys saw him go first. I cracked the whole board and won. I was just an idiot. And now what, what did I do? I let him go first. Oh wait, he won the bet. Never mind. I'm so used to winning. So he's going first. <laughs> I'm so used to winning, bro. It's so, so many games that you win. Look at my hand. Broken. Broken. All you need is one water card. Surfacing Big Draws is not only a special summon, but it's a full extender. It's full combo by itself. I'm gonna let him go off. He's gonna go plus crazy. Bro, surfacing big draws, I'm gonna spit some. This equals a rise yield. Imagine what 1x rise yield does. Assuming you activate a spell, you play it a lot. Special big draws, add abyss, special, Bahamut, Bahamut, Virtue Stream, add trap, add another water. Later, you're gonna go toad. You're gonna get more waters. Another water, it's all for free. Icarus attack, free card, toad to protect. You can special toad, send a toad. Re get the same, re get the surfacing big draws. Normal summon the surfacing big draws after. Like it's all three, like four or five cards from one one of them. Buzzsaw Shark does even more because Buzzsaw Shark special surfacing big draws. Bahamut Toad later get back the surfacing big draws from the graveyard. Then special summon surfacing big draws. Add popular level four a, a, a Drake Shark special that you just from one Buzzsaw Shark it equaled five monsters. Dark Ruler nice deck and now we're gonna kill him. It didn't even need to be Dark Ruler. It could have been so much stuff. Here he's going to go right away uh, on the Declare Big Draws from hand. He goes XYZ Summon on your turn, Summon Babuska. So even my Dark Ruler, he still has a lot. And it's still not enough. Like it doesn't, like I mean, if I had Talons or Drop of this case, the same thing. X Rise on the gate. Now I just win. And that did pop everything. See you later. Alligator. That's fine. You can grab whatever you like, my friend. I'm still going to kill you. So I cleared his whole board just like that. My X is on he's been every single deck. And I'm just gonna go kill him after. Good on him to Perulia. At this point, I'm like, oh, okay. Maybe that's why he did it. Now it's gonna be a little bit tough because he's gonna draw quite a lot. My thought process in this scenario is I could put up one of the cards that just obliterate this deck and win. There's plenty of ways. I'm gonna go do it, I'm gonna add a little bit. And you're gonna be forced to add a like, little trick here, right guys? Little trick. If you end them Baguska cross with dual draw to negate the Baguska, the only out in their deck, assuming you don't activate a monster effect, is Imperm. Their monster is all full. Additionally, uh, X send Aggregator. Cross negate Aggregator, Baguska stays forever. It's a little trick there that I teach in my master class, but that's for losers, so I'm not a loser. So 
what I'm going to do instead. I want to get as much value as humanly possible. And I basically told him, come at me, bro. And that key barrier is kind of sealed it. Uh, he did draw an imperm, so it's good for him, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just going to win here. He's going to go thrust, get talents. There's nothing he'll do. I have full follow-up. Talents, key barrier, later. I do it right away because I don't have to pop my own card. Does that make sense? And that's just instant game. Um, with or without the barrier. But both these decks are extremely cool. Shark and his deck. Shout out my point for playing an extremely cool deck. It's not every day you see very cool decks. It ends up five monsters hoping to survive. That's not, that's not gonna happen, bro. <laughs> it's like, well, I gotta go. I'm like, bro, no. I'm Exiton your ass. He's gonna imperm the Exiton. And then I win. GG to my opponent. Well played. Stop the video. Make sure to smash the like button. Subscribe. And smash! The link down below for our beautiful Malice for Rise of Playmat. And just because you guys are seeing this right now, you're gonna get rewarded. The first 25 people that comment on the website as you're ordering, I want the VIP mat. The VIP point mat is gonna have an artwork on the Rizeal side, a small artwork of your very own surfacing big jaws. Joining the battle! Because without surfacing big jaws, this deck is impossible, that deck's so broken. So, if you guys want to get that VIP shark, of surfacing big draws of artwork right here to help the battle on the rise heel side. But wait, that means there must be a special VIP on the Malice side. Well, I don't play normal Malice. I play Sky Striker Malice! So the Sky Striker side will have Sky Striker Mobilizing Gage, aka Ray, joining the front and joining the Malice side. So if you want the VIP, the first 25 people to ask for the VIP playmat will receive that as well. Where there's gonna be a little engage and a little Surfacing Big Jaws joining the fight. Make sure to check that out, and I'll see you guys as the duel goes on. Let's go. This is the deck profile. Let's go. That's <laughs> so good. Three X or Rise Hill, three Thoda Rise Hill, three Ice Rise Hill, one Node Rise Hill. You're playing the full engine, three Bonfire. You're playing all 12 of the Rise Hill starters with Node. So all 13 of them with three pots. That's 16. So you're playing every single card you're playing in Rise Hill, anyways, except you're including another Rise Hill. Surfacing Big Jaws, Honorary Rhizeal, it does the same thing. Buzzsaw Shark, Summon Buzzsaw Shark, hear me out. Special Surfacing Big Jaw, go into, do you ever hand trap Toad Rhizeal or X Rhizeal? No, what the fuck, you wait for the extra deck like, monster. What do you, you people, do, if they know you're on Rhizeal, they're going to be careful, because they know that it's off the dual drive. You go Buzzsaw Shark, Special Big Jaws, go Bahamut, Bahamut Effect, we're not summoning Toad, not yet. Then we're going to summon La Virtue Dragon, La Virtue Dragon Effect, add Icarus Effect for free. Which, by the way, Crystal Attack next format's broken. It's very broken. Then, you're going to trigger the second effect of Virtue Dragon. Detach from Bahamut. Stick with me, because you're going to see this happen live in duels right now. Re-add the Big Jaws. You're going to activate one of your 30 billion spells. Except Engage, I want that, but you're locked into fours. Special Big Jaws. Add Drake Shark. Special Drake Shark. Duo Drive. One Buzzsaw Shark equals full Rhizeal combo plus Icarus Attack. One Buzzsaw Shark. One Princess does the same thing. A one for one for Princess does the same thing, but without the normal summon. Three Big Jaws does the same thing. Just slightly, like, one less rank four, but it's a special summon. It's a rank four Terror Top. You go Special Big Jaws, add Drake Shark. Well, special Big Jaws, normal Buzzsaw Shark. Do the combo. Buzzsaw Shark, Special Drake. Sh special Big Jaws, normal Buzzsaw Shark. Bahamut, Virtue Stream. Uh, uh, Virtue Stream again, send Drake Shark. Add Drake Shark, special Drake Shark. Four, you have four bodies for free. Four bodies for free. Any of these cards get four bodies. Isn't that what Rise Heels do? All Sharks are Rise Heels. Literally. But you just don't break. And now as far as breaking boards, oh, trip. Look, you're playing all these cards are starters, except Node and Drake are just like okay to open. But they're not starters. They're just engine requirements. You have 24 engine requirements, 22 starters. The normal deck has what? 16 max. It's like 16 max. This has 22. 15 actually. The normal deck is 15 max. This is 22. 22, 24 kind of. And then going second, thrust and talents equals engine. So going first, you have 22. Going second, you have 28. With a far better end board. Like, it's not only more consistent, it's not only better going second, it's only better going first. But it ends on a better end board. Like, bro, it's just better. The only downside that it has 
is it's much weaker, the D barrier. The reasoning of this. I wouldn't say much weaker, actually. Assuming your opponent goes D barrier first. It's weaker to the Mulcharmies. Because you can't play cross out and ask to stop the Mulcharmies, if that makes sense. You can't... Like, again, this, these 12 cards obliterate Ryzeal, obliterate Malice. All 12 of these board breakers. 15, because the pots draw into the board breakers. You play the one imprint for this, the one virtue stream, and the two e spell. Assuming you get Fualos or Feruliad, you're just letting your opponent draw three. It's it's very copium, but there's no answer here. I'm not going to play Ash Blossom just for the Mulcharmies. I'm going to let them draw three. The problem in Malice Breaker, which we're going to put on Malice Striker tomorrow, is the same thing, except instead of the hand traps of, of the Moltra six Mulcharmies, you have to worry about Jewel and Lancia. It's so many hand traps that really are bad against Malice, which makes it a little tough. However, for this deck, for D Barrier, you can't cross out the D Barrier because you're not playing cross out for any other hand trap. So there's no answer to D Barrier other than break their board. So if you get D Barrier, what you have to do is hope you draw evenly and break their board. And hopefully you have your own evenly. Or sorry, your own D Barrier to stop that. So the answer to D Barrier is you break their board by stealing their cards. And then you flip your own D Barrier. <laughs> like it's the only answer. I know it sounds nuts, but you're playing five D Barriers both side. So that's why the, the side deck is all traps. The same goes for Malice. You'll break the Malice board with just the non-engine easily. Same with Ryzeal, easily. But if they D barrier you, your game plan is you break their board without XYZ summoning and just by talents take their card, Thrust take their card, Econ take their card, whatever, or evenly. And then you simul Archfiend them. Same thing. Same thing. Like, it's the same as Lanceating them or D barriering them. This destroys them. Going second, you don't need too many breakers. You already played 12, 3 Econ, 3 Talent, 3 Thrust, 3 Droplet. With three pots, the pots equal these, and one imperm, four thrust. So that's 13, that's 16 go second cards already. With X Ryzel in engine out to so many things. So by playing these four, you're playing 20. You don't you do not need more than that in a 40 card deck. You only need to see one or two. Two. I want to see two going second. So if you see two going second with 20, you're gonna see two for sure out of six cards. Uh, and going first, you just substitute the breakers. I'll substitute droplet and econ and one Imperm or one Talent, depending on how I feel, for seven of these. So three Barrier, two Trapper, two, two Daruma, and I'll throw in Call by for something random. Sometimes a, a big Jaws because there's slightly less spells, but still a lot. Sometimes a Buzzsaw, whatever I feel at the time. The extra deck is two Duo Drive, two Detonator, one Dugaris, one Babuska, one Exaton, one Full Armored Utopic. You need Full Armored Utopic in every single Eurizio deck. It's really good. Kraken, actually a really good card. Bahamut, Double Toad. La Virtue, Typhon, and Aggregator. The only card I would like that in is uh, XYZ Remora, but that card's a little bit win more. If you resolve XYZ Remora, you have like four XYZs on the field. And that's the deck. I hope you guys like it. It's actually very, very good. And as you guys saw in, other, in this replay, which was very fun when I broke the board game one and won the match, or if you saw it on DB Grinder channel when I picked Shark, Shark Rise and just obliterated them, it's very, very good. Leverage, you're barely summoning Toad off Bahamut. Use some cool plays. Bahamut's not once per turn. Or hard, it's not a hard once per turn. So after you get it to the graveyard, Rise, you'll plug in the Bahamut. Like you always start Ma Bahamut special good virtue. And then later you plug in back the Bahamut to special toad. It's pretty cool. Like it's very good, very good combo. Just be careful with X. When virtue or toads on the field, you cannot add. That's okay. If you're ending on an unbreakable board of the, the normal Ryzeal board plus Icarus attack and totally awesome, you're not losing. <laughs> you're just not losing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next video. Get your Ryzeal playmats down below and get your Masterclass. Join the Masterclass tonight. See you guys then. Peace!